Welcome to Magellan's tutorial on how to save and edit addresses in your address book. Let's start off by pressing on the Go To button. On the Go To menu screen, you have several options. The option we're going to pick today is the address book. To add an entry into the address book, press on the Add button located at the bottom of the screen. On this next screen, you have several options to choose from. You can add a specific address, an address from a previous destination, an address from a point of interest, or the location of an intersection. This first example, we're going to use the specific address. On this screen, there are two options to choose from when entering the city name. We can either enter it by using the zip code or by spelling out the city name using the keypad. In this example, we'll use the keypad. As we start typing out the city name, if you notice at the top of the screen, there's a white address bar. The routing system will automatically start selecting cities based on your current location and previous destinations you've programmed into the system. If the city location you're looking for auto-populates in the field, go ahead and press on the white bar. That will tell the routing system that that's the city you're looking for. On this next screen, we will type in the street name. As you're typing the street name, the system will auto-select the street name based on the spelling. Let's go ahead and select the street name on this next screen. Now we enter the physical address number. When you're done, you're going to press on the green box in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. After you press on the green box, a confirmation screen will appear. In this screen, you can save it to your address book as well as your one-touch menu at the same time. In this example, we will only save it to the address book. Let's press Yes. You've created an address book entry. To enter a name for this address book entry, click on the line that says Name. Now spell out the address book entry using the keypad. When you are done, press on the green box. This takes you back to the address book. If you are done making edits to this address entry, press on the green box. It is now saved to your address book. Let's add another entry. Click on the Add button that's located at the bottom of the screen. In this example, we will use a previous destination. This is your previous destination screen. In this screen, you will see all the previous locations you've routed to. We're going to select a coffee bean and tea leaf in the city of Orange. Once you press on the location you want to save, the confirmation screen will pop up again. Let's go ahead and press on Yes. If you don't wish to make any edits, go ahead and press on the green box. This will now save it to your address book. Now let's add one more by pressing on the Add button at the bottom of the screen. In this example, we use the points of interest. When using the points of interest menu, you have three options to choose from. You can search by category, you can search by name, or you can search by AAA tour book category. In this example, we will search by POI category. In this next screen, you have several POI categories. We will select shopping. In this next screen, you'll see the subcategories available for shopping. Go ahead and select one. Now the system wants to know where to locate the store you're looking for. Is it near your current position? Is it near a city? Or near a specific address? In this example, we will use near current position. All the locations in the POI category are organized by distance to your current position. Page down by using the up and down arrows on the right hand side of the screen. Once you've located it, you can tap on that line 
and the Save Confirmation screen will appear. In this case, we're going to also save this to the OneTouch menu. Let's press on the bar that states Add to OneTouch. When the green check mark appears in the white box, it is selected to be added to the OneTouch menu. Now let's press on the green Yes box. Once we've confirmed the address information and the phone number, we can press on the green box. It is now added to our address book. To edit any of the address book entries, select the address entry you'd like to edit by tapping on the name of the address book entry. This will open up the address book. Press on the edit button to make changes to any of the fields in this entry. You can page up and down by using the arrows on the right hand side of the screen. In this example, we will edit the phone number. Tap on the phone number line. This will take you to a keypad. Now enter the phone number you wish to save under this address entry. When you are done, you will press on the green box. If you're done editing, press on the Save button in the bottom part of the screen. The edits have now been saved to your address book. To delete an entry, select the name of the entry you'd like to delete. On the next screen, press the Delete button at the bottom part of the screen. The next screen is Deleting Confirmation screen. Because this particular address entry was also saved to your OneTouch, by deleting it in the address book, it will also delete the OneTouch setting. Click Yes to confirm. To route to a destination in your address book, press on the address you'd like to route to. This will take you to the routing screen. Now by pressing go, it will start routing to that destination. This concludes our tutorial on adding and editing address entries in your address book.